Welcome to Courageous Leadership with Virginia Prodan, training you to lead with courage. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for coming back to our podcast, Courageous Leadership with Virginia Pratan, each Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time. We are glad you are here. For a long time now, with what is going on around us, COVID-19, isolation, changes in our culture and political arena, insecurity, and the list can go on. You heard many times people saying, adopt or you will be left behind. Which one do you want to be? So, you understood why becoming more resilient was and is important in the top priority for many people including yourself. So you got excited, you got inspired, inspired to learn new skills, to write, to open a new business or extend your business, motivated to learn a new language maybe, to do a new ministry. You took charge, change to pursue dreams. And for a while, Surrounded by kind of spirit cheering you on, you could almost taste the success. Maybe you thought you would write a book to be published, attend a Zoom conference to become a keynote speaker, write a popular or important blog, Open a new business or develop your business. Create a new partnership. And the list goes on. But now, after a few years, you live in reality. Suddenly, words won't come for your book or they won't come at least in the right order the way you want it. Or building a business, you discover it's harder than you thought. Emails are telling you that your social media numbers aren't high enough. Even your family or friends are treating your new challenge, your new approach, just like a a hobby. So today, discouragement is your new companion. You can predict what's going to happen tomorrow, let alone a year from now. You can plan for every obstacle and issue in your life. However, the good news is you can develop a victorious mindset, a perspective, and successfully deal with any obstacle or any issue as they appear. And if and when you develop that mindset and perspective, your anxiety and fear will be gone. You will know you can handle anything life throws at you, but not just that, you will know you can end up as a winner in every circumstances in your life. So, to help you accomplish that, to live life you mean it, here are my five successful steps that will change your life if you apply them. I train myself and for a year I train my clients to live life you mean it. You can apply those five successful steps immediately to get great results. I promise you. And here they are. Number one, reflect and review. Ask yourself hard questions. Why are you doing this, whatever you're doing? 
in your business, your new skill? What is your unique message? The more you learn, the more you review, the more you will earn, and the more competent you will be, the more value you will bring to the market, the more important you will be and more effective. Number two, plan strategically. What is your first step? Create an outline. Write down the steps necessary to reach your goal. Create a roadmap that includes repeatable process in order to produce results for your business or for your life. In doing so, you may just be reminded of something or someone you neglected to contact. New information, new resources. Perhaps that a business or a writer conference or workshop or recordings or some kind of homework that you haven't listened or done yet. Set realistic goals for each week and do your best to reach them. Number three, reach out. Engage with more people. Refuse to remain isolated. You could always use more friends or followers, right, on your social media. That is just part of how our world operates today. But you are going to Make the effort to reach out and invite people to like you in your life. For that, you need to spend more time not only online but offline engaging with others in your field. You can do it. Just do it. Number four, gather. For me, as a writer, as a speaker, this is such a solitary profession but it's vital for me to make time together with others for learning, for praying, for what we call iron sharpen, sharpening, iron growth. So I make that effort, and you can do the same too. Are you in a local or national professional group? Be in one. I highly recommend making it a priority to attend a business conference or a writer conference or a lawyering group, in my case, event every single year possible. There you will meet people just like you, minded, created, soul just like you. They will understand and you will understand them. Create your community. It's important. They know what it takes and will encourage, will, in, will challenge, will pray for you, will support you. Number five, act on the next thing. Spend some time listening to your heart, to your mind, to your business partners, employees, your friends, and your family. Then take notes and you will know what your next action is from all those resources. And I am saying this to you and I'm saying to myself, I am reminding myself about what I already know after a lifetime of being in business, speaking, writing, coaching, or lawyering. And yes, I occasionally experience time of disappointment, but also I experience time of big success, and I'm taking notes of that. God is asking all of us during this time, by faith and in obedience, to do something special, and we can do it. And soon, as we finish that something special step, he will give us the next step. Don't be frightened by the size of the text because God will be with you. You will not be forsaken. He will set, see you going through all this and finish correctly 
and victoriously. He will make you in this process strong and courageous. So be inspired. If you believe in God or not, I just want to remind you that inaction creates doubt and fear. Action creates courage and confidence. So, no matter what you do, be in integrity with yourself and with your value. Because before people trust you with their money to engage with you, they need to trust you with their heart. Keep that in mind. Follow those steps and I assure you that they will change your life and the life of people around you. You will move, will move you into the next higher level of your life or your business. Will get you excited again, challenge you to pursue your dreams and to live life you mean it. For more coaching or training, go to virginiapradanbooks.com and tell us what you need, and we are here to help you. Do not settle for less. When your ability to live life, you mean it, is within your grasp. We can help you turn your setbacks into comebacks. You, together, we can do it. Until our next time together, each Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock, the podcast, Courageous Leadership with Virginia Pradhan. Be blessed, keep in touch, and we want to hear from you. If you want to know more about Virginia Pradhan, her coaching program, buy her book, Saving My Assassin, or invite Virginia to speak at your events, visit virginiaprodanbooks.com. Yeah.